Hello boys and girls, welcome back to math and we are beginning a new chapter today. Today we're going to talk about measuring. Have you ever heard of a ruler before? Rulers are used to measure and maybe you could find one around your house. This ruler is 12 inches long. Now, when we start measuring, we always want to start at the end. So if we measure something, we have to start over here where it says zero. So for example, if I were going to measure, um, let's say this card. If I were going to measure this flash card, I would need to start by putting my card at the very end of the ruler. So then we can look and see that my card, my flash card here, is about, if I start at zero, six inches long. So we would look, and so zero isn't written there, but we know that zero is where we begin. And then it goes to one, two, three, four, five, six. So the end of the flash card is at six. So my flash card is six what we call inches long. So I said a ruler is 12 inches long. If you look, again, there's no zero, but there's a one and a two. Count with me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now I know, can you see all the different lines in between? As you get older, you'll learn how to measure even smaller than the actual inch. So for example, if I look at this big line right here in the middle, halfway between one and two, that would be called a half an inch. So we could say one and a half inch or two and a half inches. You'll get to even one and one quarter, one and one eighth, but those are something you'll learn as you get a little bit older. In kindergarten, we just want to pay attention to uh, zero up to 12 inches. We just want to measure with what we call inches. Now we're not always going to measure with a ruler. Sometimes we will measure with cubes or other objects to see how long something is. One thing that's very important for us when we measure is if we're measuring two items, we always have to start at the beginning of the item. So for example, I can't measure my card and, oops, it's upside down, sorry. I can't measure my card and start at right here in the middle of the card. I wanna make sure I get the whole card. So we're always going to start right here at the beginning of the ruler with whatever object we are using. So let's take a look at our very first page, 11.1. .1. And moms and dads, this is a very short chapter. It actually only has five lessons in it. And so we will test for this on Monday, next Monday. So we'll have five lessons this week, and then next week we'll test on Monday. Um, and then we haven't decided if we're going to take a little break again or not, because we just have one chapter left, and it's with sorting. And again, it's another short chapter, so we might just kind of go through it and and then finish the year with just reviewing. We are whizzing right through because you have some very smart boys and girls. Let's take a peek here at this first page. And I want you to look that, you see this line here? Both pencils are touching that line right there. That means we're going to start by measuring. We're going to st compare the two, but we have to start them both at the very tip of the pencil. We're going to compare the lengths of the two pencils and use, we're going to use words like longer than or shorter than, or we could also say about the same length. So we're going to trace and follow. We're going to look here. So if I were to compare this pencil to this pencil, the purple and the green, I would say that the purple pencil is longer than that green pencil. If I were to follow the end, you could see that purple goes even farther than the green. So we're gonna trace around this circle um, that has circled the purple pencil because that one is the longer pencil. And then we're gonna put an X on the shorter pencil. So the green pencil is shorter than the purple pencil. Neither of those are about the same length. If I wanted one that was about the same length, 
it would have to be, it would have to end and be about that long right there. Okay, so that could be, the, if I were going to compare the one I just drew to the purple one, then I could say those are about the same length. So longer than, shorter than, about the same length, measuring, and when we measure, make sure we always start, we have to start at the same place. We can't start in the middle of something, we have to start at the end, all right? Okay, let's go on to the next page. And this page is actually, can you tell what that number is? Look at the bottom of your page, 650. That's crazy, boys and girls. You have done so much work in math this year and your teachers are so proud of you. So now I told you sometimes we will measure with other objects other than rulers. And today we're going to use Unifix cubes. If you're in class, we'd be using some Unifix cubes. If you still have some at home that we sent home, you are welcome to use those. Or we're also going to end up drawing them. So if you just want to draw, the only thing is when we draw, we want them to be about the same size as the cubes. And I'm going to show you a little trick on how to do that. Let's start by looking at number one. If you have cubes, go ahead and build a train that is longer than what is there. So I want you to build a cube train that's longer than the red one, longer than the green one, and longer than the yellow one. Now when you measure, you're going to have to start your cubes at the end line right here. So this one has one, two, three, four, five. So we need more than five to make a cube train that's longer than that. So if you look, one, two, three, four, five, six, they made one with six. Six is longer than five, and it's actually just one longer, okay? This line here tells you where to start. So if I want to draw one that is longer than this, let's see, green, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to show you a little trick here. So we have to start here on the line. Something that helps me if I don't have cubes and my smart board must not be really lined up very well here. I'm going to draw one underneath each one. Now, if I talked about or compared this, that would say that that cube train is about the same length as the green one, but I need one longer. So I'm going to add one more. You could actually add more if you wanted, but my cube train now has five cubes, and so that is one longer than the green cube train that's there. All right, let's move on to the last one. The yellow cube train has one, two, three. So I need to draw one that is longer. I have to start here at the on this line because this is where the yellow one starts. So one, two, three, that's the same. So I need one more and now that one is longer. It's one longer than the yellow. You could add more if you'd want. Five is longer, six is longer, seven is longer, but I'm gonna stop at four. Four is just one longer than yellow. I bet you're getting this. I bet this is super simple for you. Let's go ahead and now, what do you think we're gonna talk about on the next page? What's the opposite of longer than? If you said shorter than, you are so smart and you are correct. Now we're gonna make cube trains that are shorter than the cube trains shown. So if you have cube trains, you're welcome to build and then draw or you can just draw like Miss Vogel is going to do if you don't have any. And you can color them in also. I did not color mine in because I wanna go ahead and get through the lesson with you. But let's take a peek. Notice we're gonna to have to start at that line again. That would be like the beginning. And if we were looking at a ruler, that's where the zero would be. We would start right there at a zero, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need a cube train shorter than seven. Shorter means less. It has fewer than that. So I'm going to draw this one. I'm just going to draw, let's see, one, two, three. Is that shorter? It is. You have other choices. Anything that is less than seven would be shorter. I'm going to leave mine with three. Three is shorter and I can color mine in. You can color yours in. I'm just going to keep on moving along and we'll draw. 
Here we go again. This was where zero would be if we were measuring on a ruler. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six blue cubes. I need something shorter. How many could I draw? I heard lots of numbers. I think I'm gonna do, whoever said five, I'm going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. Five is shorter than six. It's actually just one cube shorter than six. So I drew five. All right, let's go down to the very last one. Our red cube train has one, two, three, four, five. I need to draw a cube train shorter than five. How many could I draw? I'm gonna draw, I heard someone say three. One, two, three. Let's do one more. Four, four. Four is smaller, or I'm sorry, shorter than five. It is one, just one shorter than five. You guys are picking this up so quickly. I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Okay, let's move on to our very last page. Here, if you notice, we are going to compare three pencils, okay? The eraser is touching the end line on all three. Let's see. Two of these pencils are about the same length. I want you to color those two pencils that are about the same length. So if they all start here, which two end at about the same spot? If you say the top one and the bottom one, you are correct. I'm going to circle mine, but I would like you to color yours in. You are much better at coloring on your papers than I am. So the top and the bottom pencils are about the same length. Now on number eight, we're going to draw to show what we know about two objects. They're about the same length. So I'm going to draw two, hmm, let's draw carrots. Are you ready? So I'm going to start because the top of a carrot has some grass on it. So I'm going to start my carrot there and then draw it down this way. Not too bad. My grass or the top of the carrot is touching that line. Now my other carrot has to be about the same length. So I'll do the same thing. And now I want my carrot. I have to go down and stop right about the same spot the other carrot was. Do you see the end? So they start at the same spot and they end at the same spot. That means those two items are about the same length. You can draw whatever you would like and just draw two of the same length, about the same length items. Have a great day in math. Don't forget to do your homework. If you have a ruler at home, maybe you could try finding out what's how long some things are in your home. Your ruler won't be able to measure really long things, um, but try to find some smaller things that you can measure. Have a great day.